Just keep it simple. A simple life is a beautiful life. Hi, welcome to Just Keep It Simple. Um, how do you water your plants? How do you water your succulent? How do you water your laptop? It is kind of the same watering method. Uh, maybe I can share with you a few ways to water your succulent. First and foremost, you can use your drinking filtered water. Yeah, Do not use direct water from the pipe because direct water from the pipe is really too hard and it's really high in the chlorine yeah so you want to use uh, filtered water or you can save some water in the bucket and keep it maybe about what two three days or an overnight water would be great so long it is soft water use for your water okay now do you just use the water alone or do you want to add some ingredient inside you can consider using uh, HB101 yeah HB101 is a vitalizer drop one drop of HB101 to 1.5 liter of water I do not have 1.5 liter of water I'm just showing you just one drop of HB101 it smells really nice and this is highly recommended for you uh, to use yeah for all your watering for all your plants for all your vegetables if you do not have a bottle of HB101 I think it's time for you to get this yeah. so go grab one HB 101 and keep it safe with you and use it for all your plants you will be surprised what this one drop can do so in actual fact the uh, usage is one drop of HB 101 to 1.5 liter of water but if there is a plant that really really in need of more vitalization because it's uh, too dry uh, it's not really looking good you can add another drop or another drop so you can go what two drops to three drops yeah to your 1.5 liter water how do you water your plants let me show you Hi, I'm going to use this aeromiscus to <laughs> show you how to water a plant. First, you can try using a bucket yeah, and fill up this bucket that I've added the HP 101. This pot here is approximately, let's see, This pot is approximately 5.5 centimeter. I want to soak the water until here. Yeah. About 2.5. Why? Is because many are too afraid to soak uh, the whole plant into a full water bucket. Yeah. So if you are too afraid to do so for many reasons, I don't blame you. You can try this method. So one third of your pot height okay so I've already prepared here it's already been added with the HB 101 yeah so I'm just gonna put it like this it's really added with HB 101 one drop and then you put it right inside here and let it soak how long do I want to soak this plant here do I want to wait until the top gets wet yeah again many are not comfortable when it comes to watering succulent I would suggest those that don't feel safe yeah, yeah. soak it to 15 to 20 minutes I'm going to speed up this whole process here so pretend now that I've really soaked for 20 minutes always shake this excess water out huh? always do that don't immediately take this pot out and put it somewhere so make sure you shake all the excess water out okay it's a lot of work <laughs> everyone knows especially all you fan here so take it out and put it here and let it dry okay how does this work for you as soon as the water is soaked until here with the heat that we have yeah with the heat that we have it will evaporate upwards to the roots yeah it will evaporate upwards to the roots this is a very safe way to water your plants if you have a big bucket yeah you can fill up that bucket 
and then you do what I did just now all right so this is one way way one let's look at way two hold on way two of watering your succulent is filling it up in your water bottle with this nozzle all right so what you do is I've already put in the HP 101 here and I've shaped make sure it's all shaped and again based on the safe way of watering I'm watering at the side of the pot okay and that's about it then same thing here the heat and the moist will basically evaporate towards the root some will water at the side of the root and that's fine too okay if you have an achiveria and your petals caught water in between the achiveria petals you can take a blower and just gently blow off the water okay don't let the water sit in between the petals because it will uh, create some stains on the petals and it might not look as pretty as it is so try to avoid watering the petals especially the achiveria but this is pretty safe here now you can see the water has drained out because this soil is really really good in uh, drainage it doesn't hold uh, the water too long here so now I'm going to shake it too same thing that I did and let it dry you can put right in front of the fan yeah if you have a ceiling fan in your garden just keep it on until you know you find this dry it should dry off within a day or two yeah preferably within a day uh, maximum to uh, uh, two days yeah and then keep a lookout if there's any changes on it because sometimes the weather can also cause some humidity that you do not want uh, for your plant third way of watering your plants it is really nice to have a water bottle and you could mist yeah but there is so many type of uh, misting uh, bottle in the market uh, some that are like what you, you know the hair hair saloon they use that kind of uh, misting spray yeah those are really really fine spray and for me that doesn't work for me i actually got a bottle of this you know a misting bottle like this and i have the hp 101 mix in it too and what I do is I spray it to the side and go around it and that's it yeah give it a good mist and shake all the excess water out and that's it yeah so this is how you water your plants I've shown you three ways and you can use whichever way you feel comfortable with yeah as soon as you water all your plants if you really really feel that you know the soil might not dry and all that like i said just put right in front of a fan put right in front of a fan it will really really help yeah okay so basically this is the technique of how to water your plants